The Nabox wallet is one of the most complete wallet applications we have in the market currently, especially when it comes to the Nulls ecosystem. In today's video, I'm going to give you a complete basic guide on how you can create, backup, restore, and use this wallet using your mobile phone. And remember, the Nabox app is available on both Android and iOS. So grab your phone now, and let's start this tutorial together. The first step is to search for Nabox wallet in your phone's app store. Don't forget to check if the developer is Nabox Labs, and then proceed with the installation. Open the app on your phone, and then you'll need to first create your wallet, of course. I'll also teach you how to recover and import a wallet if you already have one, but that will be towards the end of this video. Well, now you just need to choose the language. I'll leave it in English, and I'll set the currency to USD, that is the dollar, and here we have two options, create account and import account. First, let's create our wallet here and create account. Let's give a name to this wallet. I'll put a test name just to show you. And for the password, I'll put test123. I'll leave a generic password here, but make sure you use a secure password ok? Remember that the password needs to contain letters and numbers. Alright, accept the terms of use and click next. Here you can activate the blockchain networks you intend to use. In my case, I usually use nulls, and nulls, and even the nerve network in some situations but you can activate the networks of your preference. I'll leave only these here and click create account. Basically the system will create my wallet. On this backup screen, if you go back in the app to the option of selecting blockchain networks and proceed again, it will create a new wallet. So don't go back at this point, follow along in the video, and later I'll show you how to add the networks you missed. At this point, it's ideal to back up your wallet before making any transactions. This backup will ensure access and recovery of your wallet on another phone, or the same phone if you format it. Alright, let's do it. The first backup we're going to do, is the mnemonic phrase backup. That is the most common backup method in the market currently. By clicking here on backup mnemonic, you click next. In your case, a sequence of 12 words will appear. For security reasons it doesn't allow screen recording. But basically you'll take these 12 words in the correct order, from left to right, just as we read. You'll skip lines and write them down on paper, storing them in a secure location. These words provide direct access to your wallet, so if they're stolen, someone could steal your wallet too. However, with these words, you can recover your wallet in the future. We also have the backup system via private key, that is not as commonly used, but very important for you to do. This backup can even be done offline meaning you can disconnect your phone from the internet for this. So, this is the second backup option. You click on it, and it will give you a warning to disconnect your phone from the internet for added security. You put here that you understand the risks, and here your private key will finally appear. This code also provides direct access to your wallet, so you can store it in a secure location. Remember, don't save it in a WhatsApp chat, Telegram chat, or email. If any of these platforms are hacked, you could lose your wallet because all the content and access will be there. Alright, so far I've shown you two backup methods, but usually, the most used one is the mnemonic phrase, that is, those 12 words. It's also easier to save, but it's always good to do both and keep both backups secure. The phone screen won't record, but basically, after you do the backups, you click on complete backup down there. By selecting this option, the system will open your wallet, or if you're backing up the words, the system will ask you to repeat the words in the correct order. You simply click on the word options provided, put them in the correct order, and then select the complete button. And it's done. The app will open your wallet. After you've completed the backup process and initialized your wallet, this is basically the interface you'll see. Now I'm going to give you some basic uses so you can understand how it works. First, switch between blockchain networks. Here, in the top left corner, you have the logo with the name of the wallet you chose. By clicking here, you can switch between the blockchain networks you selected in the beginning. Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Nulls, Inulls, and Nerve. You can use the blockchain network you need or the one you want. Additionally, you can go to the settings and unlock more blockchain networks or add new ones if necessary. Second, add new coins and tokens on that blockchain network. You simply select the network and then you click on the X symbol, the cross symbol, next to assets. By clicking here, you can search for various cryptocurrencies on that blockchain network, 
and select and add the ones you need. As an example, I'm going to add the Nabox cryptocurrency to my Nulls account and also Nullswap. I'll go back here and it's done. The networks are already on the screen. Third, sending and receiving. You choose the blockchain network, register the coin you need to receive, click on it, and here you'll have the receive option. By clicking here, your receiving address for that cryptocurrency on that blockchain network will appear. And to send, you simply use the send option. You fill in the sending address and enter the amount. The fee will be calculated by the wallet itself according to the network. You can even add a note or memo to this transaction. Now, just select the next button and the system will process the transaction. A quick note, the sending address and the receiving address need to be on the same blockchain network. For example, when you withdraw a token from an exchange and select the withdrawal via Binance Smart Chain, your receiving wallet needs to be on the address of the token on the Binance Smart Chain network for it to work. The same applies to sending. If you're sending a token that exists on the Nulls network to an exchange that doesn't accept that token on the Nulls network, the transaction won't work. Guys, furthermore, this app allows you to access decentralized platforms and dApp solutions. In other words, decentralized applications in general. To do this, you'll need to click down here on Discovery and search in this list for the platform you want to use. For example, you can use PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain or NullSwap and WaterTiger on the Nulls Network. I'll be bringing more videos about this on the channel soon. Well, that's the basics. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to respond whenever possible. But now I'll show you how you can restore and recover your wallet using the backup you made on a new phone or even if you formatted your device. To do this example, I'll use my Nulls address. Its ending is XY3BPFL. So that's my Nulls address. The beginning is D6HGE. Let's see if I can uninstall the app, install it again, and recover that wallet. All right, the app has been uninstalled. Let's suppose I formatted my device or changed phones and want to recover my wallet. To do that, I'll reinstall the Nabox wallet app, wait for the installation here, and use my backup to recover the wallet I had created. Done. App reinstalled. Now I'll open the wallet and instead of using the create account option, I'll use the import account option. I'll select the language for the app to be installed again, confirm here, and use the import account option, which is to import an account. Now I'll click here, where these options will appear. First, import via mnemonic phrase. Remember when I told you to do this backup? Well, you can use the mnemonic phrase or import via private key, which I mentioned as a backup method and can also be used to recover the wallet. In this case, I'll exemplify it with the mnemonic phrase. You can use whichever backup you prefer. I have my mnemonic phrase written down here, and I'll write all the words in the correct order with a space between them, and all spelled correctly as well. That's why it's good to always double check your backup. Let's go. Done. I've written down all my words in the correct order. Now I'll choose a new password here. It doesn't have to be the same password as before. You can set any new password you prefer. So I'll enter the password. I'll create a new password, okay? Now I'll enter the account name. I'll write the name test again and click the next button. And basically, the wallet will ask me to choose the networks I want to use. If you had any blockchain networks that you used in the previous wallet, you'll need to activate them in this field. So activate all the networks you used before and click import account here. Then the system will scan your wallet. I don't remember my Ethereum wallet address, but I remember my address on the Nulls blockchain. So let's check. I'll change the blockchain network here and select Nulls. Very well. The ending of my wallet is XY3BPFL. It's exactly the wallet I created throughout this video. As you saw, the procedure is simple, and through the mnemonic words or backup words, I was able to recover my wallet. I used the Nulls address as an example because it was easier to remember. But basically, the wallet itself recovered all the other addresses from the other blockchain networks as well. And an important note in this video is that your tokens might not appear right away. In that case, you'll need to add your tokens again. But as soon as you add them, the wallet will do a scan and bring back your entire balance. Guys, you can use the comments below to ask your questions. But I'll also leave the links in the video description for all the official Nulls and Nabox groups in various languages. There are many people there who can help you.
people who are already Nulls investors and have been using Nabox for some time. That's all for this video for now, but leave a like down below if I helped you, and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future content, because I'll be bringing more videos about Nulls here on the channel. Well guys, I'll stop here, but I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye bye.